She's a beautician, well, and she was um, a babysitter at the time. Now, Oki and Chrissy King were dating. Chrissy King is a transgender woman. She is 29 years old, and allegedly both of them were dating each other. Well, unfortunately, um, Oki got locked up, like I said before, for bank fraud and stuff. And this happened um, in January. And he left his son, Miles Dobson, with Chrissy King. Now he left he left his son there with her because he got locked up and stuff. It was a sudden thing of you know, of course you get locked up, you're going to jail, and basically needed somebody to watch the child. Well, Chrissy King was left with Miles Dobson. And let me tell you what she did to him. She starved him. She cigarette burned him. She beat him. She beat him with a cord. Um, she hit him with the, she beat, um, she even hit him with the oven rack. And she also left him on the balcony in January when it's freezing with just a t-shirt and shorts on. Allegedly, she put tape over his mouth so he couldn't scream. And she killed him. Now, within the 24 hours of her killing him, instead of her calling the ambulance or something, she waited. Within the hour, no, excuse me, within the hour she killed him, she waited 24 hours before she contacted someone let them know, you know, that he was sad and stuff. And this happened in January the 8th, 2014. She was arrested. They took her in. And this is what Dobson will Check never have a chance to grow up. The four-year-old died after being left in the care of a midtown babysitter. Police sources say his body showed signs of abuse, including cigarette burns and bruises. The boy's uncle in Brooklyn did not want to show his face. Anyway, he, he died. He was defending himself. Investigators were called to the babysitter's apartment here at the Ritz Plaza building on West 48th Street Wednesday morning. Police sources say she initially told them she put miles on the bathroom counter, briefly walked away, then heard a bang and found he had fallen into the empty tub. But it appears his death may not have been an accident. Police today were questioning the babysitter at the Midtown North Precinct. Sources say she made statements claiming she had disciplined Miles for doing things he wasn't supposed to do by hitting him with a coat hanger and her hands and locking him in the bathroom. Really uh, intelligent, really energetic. 
course, he was a sweet kid. Police sources tell us Miles was taken away from his mother because of neglect and given to his father. But he was arrested last month for bank fraud, leaving Miles in the sitter's care. Babysitter could soon face murder charges after the death of a four-year-old boy in her care. It comes as the child's mother grieves the loss of her only child. I was going to put on my son, my baby. Ashley Dobson cannot contain her emotions, talking about the death of her only child, four-year-old Miles Dobson. I love my son. I, I just, he will always love me and give me kisses. Like, Mommy, I love you. And I say, Miles, I love you too, baby. Dobson will never say or hear those sweet words again. Miles died Wednesday after what the New York City Police Commissioner described as horrific injuries. Miles was in the care of his father's transgendered girlfriend, Chrissy King, who prosecutors say tortured and starved him. This is so painful for us. Okay, you see that? Now, you know, the mother stuff is upset. Now, the mother, um, um, Miles Dobson's mother name is Ashley Dobson. And you know, you're thinking to yourself, how could you do this to this woman's child? You know, regardless of the gender woman, but that's her man. Why would you do this to the child? But unfortunately, that poor baby, to me, never had a chance. His mother, Ashley Wilson, I'm sorry, it's Ashley Dobson. This is what they found on her and represent her of caring so much about her child. And, you know, they had um, videotaped them of, um, when she was pulled over or something. You know, the cops got their camera stuff, so they was camera her talking and stuff. This is what they found out when they found out with her. She also allegedly had abused the son as well. And the grandmother. Got her to take the baby to the hospital. Check this out. A rare glimpse into the life of a four-year-old boy whose life was filled with unthinkable tragedy. Miles Dobson died earlier this month. And tonight we have new video obtained by our partners at DNA Info that shows an encounter between the boy's mother and a deputy while Miles was still in her care. Eyewitness News reporter Sarah Wallace joins us now with more. Sarah. Well, Diana, Miles Dobson was abused until he died at age four, allegedly at the hands of his caretaker. But the video reveals that even within his own family, he was the victim of violence and instability. I went back and forth. This is a recording of an exchange between Ashley Dobson and a South Carolina sheriff's deputy in 2011. The mother of Miles, then two years old, admits that she hit the child in the head after he ran into traffic in a supermarket parking lot. Dobson also admitted that later in the day, Miles was knocked unconscious. She claimed he accidentally fell down the stairs. The child was only taken to the hospital after his grandmother noticed his injuries. She was also interviewed by the sheriff's department. And I said, Ashley, what, what happened to Miles? You know, and so I looked at his ear. I think I looked right here. grandmother described family efforts to get Ashley help. By the summer of 2011, with the abuse charges dropped, Ashley and Miles had moved back to New York City. ACS later removed the child over neglect allegations, and the boy's father, Oki Wade, was given sole custody. Earlier this month, Wade's alleged girlfriend, Chrissy King, was charged with torturing the child to death. Tony Herbert is a spokesman for the Dobson family. She probably punished him a little too abrupt, and, and that's what it is. At the end of the day, that kid was still with them. And then turned around when he went into that care of that individual who his father left him with, he was killed. That's where he died, in the hands of a monster, not in the hands of his mother. The medical examiner has still not determined the cause of death. Chrissy King is back in court next week. She has been indicted, and we will know then if assault charges have been upgraded to murder. Diane. Okay. So as you see, the poor baby, Miles Dobson, didn't really have a chance, in my opinion. You know, to think about it, I felt really bad, you know, reference to the father and stuff, because, you know, you're getting locked up, this is a situation we really need somebody to bond together to help you, and here's, you got this woman, this king, that's supposed to be there as your backbone as far as helping you and stuff. 
Well, they let him out three weeks for th three weeks to go to the child's funeral. So you know how you get off um, when they let you out. You have to give a place or a location where they may stay at. I guess so. When you have that call to make sure you're at that location, um, our probation officer, I'm assuming that's what it was, will call to make sure you're at that location. You have to be at that location when they let you go for this three weeks. Well, the, the location that he gave, allegedly, he can go to. Because unfortunately, I'm just making a um, speculation. He was seeing this woman, and he was seeing a transgender woman. And I'm sure once the news hit, he was not really going to be welcome back there. That's my opinion. So when he got there, he was not allowed the complex. He was not allowed to go there. And the thing about it is that, allegedly, the woman he was staying with in New York, moving to the Brooklyn, she said he was beating on her. Allegedly, that's the way it went down. So I don't know as far as he went, you know, um, where did he go after that? I, this, this story has so many toss and turns. I'll be honest with you. I just want to report it, get it over way, and get it out the way. Cause I'm really over it. Um, here's that poor baby, Miles Thompson. Okay, here's that poor baby at his funeral that he was left with someone who was supposed to care about him till they abused him as well. Okay. Now, she's been given 22 years to life. She's got nine counts on the indictment of second-degree murder of Miles Dobson. After they gave her the nine counts at the courtroom, she held her head down and she answered yes to all the counts that she was um, indicted for. You know, and this happened in Midtown, New York, on January the 8th, 2014. All I can say is rest in peace, Ms. Miles Johnson. You know, this is, this is so horrible. You know how you want to have somebody that you like, well, the poor father, the poor mother, and to me, my opinion, I don't feel this baby had a chance. If everything is accurate, it's what I've been reading, I had to just put it down. Everything I was reading was just getting worse and worse and worse. I, 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 wanted, I wanted to give it to you, let you know what happened, because it was a transgender that was involved. Um, Chrissy King, 29 years old, this happened in September, which is this... Um, last month, the 29th, and so it's all went to court and everything, and I just wanted to bring this update up to you in reference to this storyline, okay? And I just wanted to share that with you. And like I said before, how can you look that baby in the face? As that baby stood outside, crying to get back inside, just torture. They just torture that baby. Just torture. 
Anyway, that being said, um, I just want to share this stuff with you. I want you to love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Kiss the ring.